this one here. This is a scarlet macaw, and of course, uh, she is very intelligent. So, can you start off by giving everybody a great big wave? Can you give them a great big wave? Good job. And can you say hello? Ah, hi. Can you tell everybody what your name is? What's your name? Scarlet. It is. Her name is Scarlet, too. Very intelligent, right? She even knows her own name. Well, that's pretty much what macaws are known for doing, is of course, mimicking or talking. Of course, they're not going to say, hi, hello, how are you? I don't want to crack her out there in the wild, but they mimic to form a nice pair bond with each other, too. But here at the zoo, of course, she doesn't have to worry about that, so Scarlett picks up on all sorts of other sounds that she hears, just like us saying hello, or she hears us say her name every single day, so she picked up on that, too. So she's very intelligent. They're actually about as smart as a four to five year old child. Very intelligent, they can pick up on hundreds of sounds. But that means sometimes they can actually act like a four to five year old child, huh? Okay. So that means we have to keep them very entertained living here at the zoo with us since they are so smart and require a lot of attention. And we found here, working with Scarlett, and one thing she loves to do to keep her entertained is she loves to listen to music and she loves to dance. We found she loves Aretha Franklin because that's when we first saw her do some dancing. Scarlett, can you dance? You want to do some dancing? You want to do some dancing? Oh, are you a little bit shy today? Yeah. Can you do some dancing? Okay, a little bit. Are you being funny? Haha. Are you being funny? Okay, you're being pretty funny. That's okay. Well, of course, but we love to bring them out here though to share with you because a lot of people think they're very entertaining and might want to bring them home as a pet. These birds can actually live to be over 80 years old. Some of them, even on record, over 100. So that means if uh, you have one at home, they mimic anything they hear. So if you have a nice baby brother or sister at home, they're going to mimic the sound of that baby crying for 80 years. <laughs> right? <laughs> but of course, they are very entertaining. But the one problem is about that is, of course, the pet trade. So people go out into the wild, take these birds out from the wild, bring them back here to be sold as pets. Of course, that's one of the major reasons why they are endangered in the wild. Not only that, habitat destruction too. So we want to do everything we can to help them. We just love having Scarlett here to start off the show here. But she has one more thing for you guys. But Scarlett, can you say bye-bye? Ah, no. Okay, you just want to stay on stage, don't you? Can you say bye-bye? Okay, good job. All right, we'll give it up for Scarlett.